Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And Google just sent over their new Pixel Fold, which is their first foldable phone that they're coming out with. I'm really excited to check this out. I don't know if you noticed some of my recent videos, I'm trying to match my shirt color with the color device that gets sent over. So keep an eye out for that. I know some of you have been catching on actually. Anyways, in this video, we are going to check out this new folding phone from Google. We're gonna see what comes inside the box and then of course get some hands-on. And speaking of hands-on, shortly after this video, I will post a more in-depth hands-on video and some more impressions after being out and about with this phone and you'll take a look at the porcelain color as opposed to just the obsidian one that you'll see in this video. So anyways, be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified when that video goes live. But for now, let's go ahead and unbox the new Pixel Fold from Google. And here it is, the new Pixel Fold from Google. Opening up the box right away, we get the covered Pixel Fold, build the suspense setting it to the side, lets you know specific care for the foldable screen. So if you'd like to read through that, you can pause the video. Continuing through, looks like we get some standard booklets getting started guide and a SIM tool. And finally in the box, you get a USB Type-C male to USB Type-A female adapter, plus USB Type-C to Type-C cable for charging. I know what you came to see, the foldable, the Pixel Fold from Google. Let's just, I'm just gonna rip the paper on off. Sorry, that wasn't too clean, but, oh, it looks like it is on the inside too. So let's open it up for the first time, take this paper off, and here's a quick look at the inside. I have to say, this hinge feels very good. A decent amount of firmness at every single angle. It's not gonna flop around whatsoever. I really do like how well it's engineered. And here's a look at that obsidian color. Again, porcelain, obsidian, you can't go wrong. They both look really, really good. Anyways, I'm going to boot up our Pixel Fold for the first time. And while it turns on, we are going to take a closer look at this hardware. First off, I can't get over how thin this feels in the hand. It feels almost like a normal phone when it's folded. It's the thinnest foldable out in the market right now. Well done, Google. You'll also see there is no gap within that hinge. So down at the bottom, we've got a speaker, USB Type-C port for charging, microphones, uh, another microphone right here, and our SIM card slot. Again, this opens up this way, so this is the bottom right and bottom left hand section. We'll take a closer look at the hinge in just a second, I promise. Moving along, on the right side here, we've got our volume rockers and a power button. Power button is raised along with the volume rockers, but that power button also has a fingerprint scanner built into it. We'll set that up in just a second. Quick look at the side and top with the camera bump. Yes, there is a camera bump. Pretty distinct pixel look. And up towards the top, microphone. I believe this is an antenna and another speaker. And just a quick look at the spine, and then you will see with it open what the spine looks like as well. On the back of our device, signature G in the middle there, and up towards the top is our camera system. On the back, you have a 48 megapixel main lens with optical image stabilization, a 10.8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, and a 10.8 megapixel telephoto lens, which zooms in up to five times optically. That is not digital zoom, optical zoom, and all the way up to 20 times digitally. Anyways, welcome to your Pixel. I'm gonna run through the startup process, talk about anything that is noteworthy. You do have face and fingerprint unlock. Let's set up our fingerprint to start. And also while I set this up, if you do have any questions about the Pixel Fold, drop them down below. I'll be hanging around in the comments section and I will answer some of them in my upcoming hands-on video where I'll get a little more detailed about the Pixel Fold and talk more about my impressions. Anyways, setting my thumb down, moving it around to different spots. I'm not moving it over to the right spot. Oh, there we go. Now I gotta move over to the left. There we go. You can set up multiple if you'd like to. And there we go. All set up, fingerprint added. Let's go ahead and continue through. So it didn't prompt me to set up face unlock within the startup, but you can go into settings and set that up so we can do that as well. But first things first, here it is. The first foldable from Google, the Pixel Fold. Let's go ahead and check out that front screen. This front screen is a 5.8 inch 1080p 
OLED display up to 120 hertz refresh rate. And unlike some other foldables, the front screen's a little wider and less tall, giving it a 17.4 to nine aspect ratio. And opening it up with it unlocked, really sleek animation. Close look at the internal display. This is a 7.6 inch 2208 by 1840 OLED display and also goes up to 120 hertz. This has a six to five aspect ratio when unfolded. And if you look close, you can see a protective plastic layer. Make sure you don't peel that off. And like I mentioned, that hinge, very premium. You can hold it at multiple angles and it will stay at just about any angle that you want to hold it at. This will be beneficial for specific apps. Maybe you want to set your phone on a table and angle up your camera, maybe a time lapse or even just a group selfie. Speaking of, let's jump into that camera application and you'll notice it is a full screen. So it's using that aspect ratio that you see right now. So this is a three, four. If you want to get four, three instead of three, four, you can go into settings and do, do so. So it's up to you what aspect ratio you want to be snapping your pictures. And there's a lot of different settings and options with this camera. Again, you can go to 0.6 times with that ultra wide angle lens. They have a two times button, which zooms in or a five times button, which again is optical zoom, but you can zoom in all the way up to 20 times. In terms of different modes, your night sight, your long exposure, which will be a lot of fun to try out. You also, have, you also have portrait mode, video of course, and the last three modes. Now, I want to point out on the right side here, this button, not flipping it to the front, which you can do right here. There is a selfie camera that you can use. The quality is obviously not going to be as good as the main sensor, so I definitely recommend using the main camera, but this is fine if you're on a video chat, etc. Now, what you're going to need to do is right here, the button below that, press that, and you can do a higher res selfie. So try the rear camera, switch screens now. And this right now turns off this inside display. In the future, once Android 14 is here, you'll be able to see this display and what do you know, this display at the exact same time. So right now I'm using this lens, the main 48 megapixel sensor, so I can take a much higher quality selfie and see a preview image on this screen. If I'd like to go back to the inside screen, I just press that button and you'll notice it flips it back right away. And yes, you obviously can just use it folded with the main sensor, but also there's another selfie camera on the front here, which again is not going to be as good of quality as you're gonna get out of the main sensor, but it's nice that they did include them in case you wanna use it in this folded mode. Before we test our fingerprint sensor, I'd like to add that if you go into fingerprint unlock, there's an option to touch unlock anytime. So you don't have to turn on the screen. If you have this off, you have to turn the screen on to unlock it. Otherwise, if you have this on, you can just rest your thumb down. So you'll see if I lock it and rest, it actually unlocks my phone right away. Now, very quickly, let's set up our face unlock. Hit start and center my head in the circle. Look up. Hopefully this works. Sorry if it doesn't. Look down. Boom. There we go. Hopefully the camera caught that. Sorry, the angle's a little weird. The camera's right in front of me, but let's test that out. So we can require eyes to be open and skip the lock screen if we'd like to. So if we want it to stay on the lock screen, I haven't registered this finger, so I'm going to press the power button, unlocked by face right away, padlock is open and you can swipe up, but let's try it while skipping the lock screen. So again, just press it and there we go. It unlocks it without having to do any swipe gesture. And I will have to do some more testing, but again, this hinge does feel very premium, very sturdy. I am actually really impressed by Google's build quality. Also, if you have an app open on the front screen, you open up your fold and it will jump open to that app. Also, there's a taskbar here. Just do a quick little swipe up, brings up all your shortcuts, or you can go into all applications to quick swap between apps, even do some multitasking. So let's go ahead and quick drag the Play Store over on the right-hand side. That's just a quick way to do your multitasking. You can resize the apps to your liking. So not only can you get to that taskbar, if you go all the way up, you get to your recent apps, so you can also do that as well. 
Anyways, there's also a lot more settings I'd like to dive into and I'll do so in my full hands-on because there's some quirks and other things I would like to touch on with the Pixel Fold. But that's all I can cover for now with my unboxing of the Pixel Fold. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe as well. Again, a lot more content coming very soon on this foldable from Google. As always, thanks for watching.